Supreme Court said forfeiture means paying a fine for an offense. Adu Mahmoud. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Peter will be filed a court against Bola Tinubu victory in the presidential election nomination petition. He said it was linked to Tinubu's 1993 forfeiture of $460,000 to the U.S. government. But some Tinubu supporters say the forfeiture was not evidence of guilt or complicity in any crime. However, lawyer Adu Mahmoud informed the Supreme Court that the question whether classification can be considered a fine is for the Supreme Court. According to him, the Supreme Court in its decision stated that forfeiture falls within the full context of the fine about two minutes and 50 seconds into the video shared by Aisha Yusuf on YouTube. Mahmoud wrote, the first part of Obi's plea is a matter of law, not fact, and Obi's position is based on the entire classification case, which took place 29 years, 29 years ago in the United States. Seizure of evidence of falls under Article 137 1D. The Constitution does not specifically mention forfeiture. It mentions fines. But can a fine mean forfeiture? I have seen a Supreme Court judgment where a Nigerian judge has now read the leading judgment of CJN Alowara and basically made the forfeiture in the context of the full state sentence. If you forget, you will regret it. So that is Obi's argument. So guys, what's your take on this? Peter will be fired in, in court against Bolame Tunubu's victory in the presidential election nomination petition. He said it was linked to Tunubu's 1993 forfeiture of $460,000 to the U.S. government. But some Tunubu supporters say the forfeiture was not evidence of guilt or complicity in any crime. However, lawyer Adu Mahmoud informed the Supreme Court that the question whether classification can be considered a fine is for the Supreme Court. According to him, the Supreme Court in its decision stated that forfeiture falls within the full context of the fine about two minutes and 50 seconds into the video shared by Aisha Yusuf on YouTube. Mahmoud wrote, the first point of obese plea is a matter of law, not fact, and obese position is based on the entire classification case, which took place 29 years ago in the United States. Seizure of evidence falls under Article 137, 1D in brackets, the constitution does not specifically mention forfeiture. It mentions fines. But can a fine mean forfeiture? I have seen a Supreme Court judgment where a Nigerian judge has now read the, the leading judgment of CJN Alewara and basically made the forfeiture in the context of the full sentence. If you forget, you will regret it. So that is obese argument he said. Meanwhile, in response to the All Progressive Congress APC denying allegation that President elect Bola Metunubo is involved in drug trafficking, investigative journalist David Ondai has presented additional evidence to support his claims. Yesterday the APC informed the presidential election petition court PEPC that it was Tunubu's bank account that received and launched the proceeds of heroin sex in the United States, not Tunubu itself. 
Tondai already called the APC's legal team and shared a photo of what he claims to be Tinubu's drug house in Chicago, which also appeared in his bank account, where the profits from drug trafficking were discovered. The investigative journalist said, you can hardly disassociate the man from drug dealing, given that the case file records he used is use of the Chicago House address to register the bank account, which is the same and the same address which is hearing gang operated their 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 trap house. It is a foolish move from the world's most foolish drug campaign, and I am eager to see how Bolas Ahmed Tinubu's lawyer will explain in English. The connection between Tinubu's stand bank account containing drug money and the address of his gang's heroin trap house, which they are attempting to distance him from. In the meantime, the APC has informed the PEPC that the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois, the Eastern Division, did not impose a fine on Tinubu, but rather ordered him to forfeit 460 thousand dollars to the united states as part of settlement between the parties involved in the case they did not take action against the second respondent tunable rather their decision was specifically directed towards the funds held in the different accounts under the name of bola tunable with first heritage bank and city bank vanguard reported that the apc represented by its legal team led by Prince Latif. San informed the court that the American consulate in Nigeria had made inquiries in 2003 about Tinubu's criminal, uh, uh, criminal record. The APC stated that the federal government had initiated this inquiry through the Inspector General of Police and the results were a clear indication of Tinubu's innocency without any criminal record. Association or association or interest in the United States of America. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.